Hey everyone, welcome back to Tavern Sports Cards. Greg here. Grab a brew, pull up a chair, and let's do another blaster slash pack rip opening. Uh, this time for the 2021 Elite by Dunross. And uh, this is the first of the actual sealed product on this that I've opened. Um, kinda. Um, what I've actually done already is, if you guys are familiar, if you've seen this, the Hobby Box version of this that came out, I don't know, like a month ago or something like that, um, I didn't get because to me, I felt like it was too expensive. I believe it's like three, right now it's probably running around like $380 or something like that. I think you get like 20 packs with five cards per pack. Um, and it's really expensive. I think even back when it first came out, um, I saw it at some places and it was like 330 around that range. And so I, I I just didn't get that. I mean, I felt better about getting like the prestige hobby box um, at around 130, which to me was, you know, a better value. Um, the Elite's a cool card, has some cool stuff, and you can get some really neat stuff like the Pen Pals cards and, and different things. What I did do though is I went into one of my local card shops and they actually had one of the uh, hobby boxes where they were selling the packs individually. And so what I did was, and it was really crazy expensive to me, they were selling the packs, I believe they were like $25 a pack, and I bought four of the packs. So I basically paid $100 for four packs. And so I did get some of these cards already, some of the elite cards. And I mean, these are some of the ones that I got. And I actually kind of got kind of lucky, but not really. Um, some of the base cards that I got when I did buy those packs, just kind of flip through them here real quick so you can kind of see. Get some older players, some newer players, things like that. And then some of the notable cards that I got, you know, this is just kind of a insert thing. I got a rookie Elitist for Kadarius Tony. I got a numbered Sam Darnold card out of 400. 399. I got a Stalvin Cook, which is weird because it's out of 399 numbered and it has this weird print defect on it, which I in later looking at it online, if you go like on eBay and look this card up, I noticed that this card has that for almost everybody. On some cards it's darker, some cards it's lighter, but the print defect is pretty much there on this card for everybody. So that's kind of weird. Um, so that and then I actually, in the four packs I bought, I actually did get an auto, which, you know, some of you would say, oh, wow, awesome, you know, eh, kind of. I mean, I got this turn of the century auto for Demetric Felton, which he was a sixth round pick, and it is numbered, it's to 199. Um, he's a, he's like, was like a sixth round pick by the Browns, and he's basically buried on their depth chart um, behind two other running backs. Um, so, I mean, he's kind of the third string running back right now, um, on the Browns, which, you know, whatever, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my, you know, for a hundred dollars, that's basically what I got. Now, these have come out now at retail right here, and I'm going to go ahead and open these up and don't want to waste too much time with it. Let me try not to bump my light here. Um, I got the, uh, my son actually picked these up for me. He found them at retail. They were at the Walmart near his house. He went up there and got him a couple, got me a couple. And um, I believe one, one big thing that people are causing a lot of uproar on these, and we'll go ahead and open this, uh, the value pack first, is the price on these is a little bit crazy. They've been kind of pushing the price up slowly. I mean, it's understandable because the card prices haven't really gone up a lot over the years, but um, I think they charge in something like $27, I believe, for this box, and then I think like $17 for the value pack, which is kind of weird because the value pack has 30 cards in it. This has 20, but you can get some more rare chances in these um, because it's, I guess, four different packs with five cards each. So, but anyway, we'll go ahead and rip into these real quick, and who knows, maybe we get really lucky on something. Um, like I said, my, my opinions on the Elite card for this year is it's mixed. I like them. I do like the cards. I think they're nice looking cards. I just think they're a little bit expensive for what they are. And um, I don't know, so we'll see. But we'll kind of go through these and see what we get. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, I mean, that's a decent sign right off the bat, right? Because even base Patrick Mahomes cards are usually worth a little bit. Joe Montana, Aaron Rodgers, Jamal Adams, Nick Chubb. That's one of the guys ahead of Demetric Felton. Brian Dawkins, Julio Jones. I don't know if that's a. Uh, I don't know. The shine just looked a little. Well, maybe not. Okay, and then we got an upside down here. I guess we got to flip everything around. We got a Randy Moss, 
Ryan Tannehill, DeAndre Swift, Jimmy Garoppolo, T. Higgins. Looks like we got some stuff coming up. Strahan. Still getting through a lot of kind of our base stuff here. Devontae Adams. Okay. And then we got a Taylor Henneke. And then we got some stuff coming right here. So we got a Shane Richel. He's a That's a rookie for a KC. So, I mean, he probably won't ever see the field. Um, all right. Here we go. This is a good one. These Spellbound cards are always good to get. Um, I know that the basketball ones always have sold really well. Um, so we got the Patrick Mahomes Spellbound. That's a pretty cool card. Go ahead and sleeve that up and put it in the back right now for probably the best card that we may end up pulling out of this one. We'll kind of put it, put that back here real quick. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Got a Larry Fitzgerald, Jalen Ramsey, AJ Brown, Barry Sanders, Tom Brady, Joe Mixon, Derek Carr, they flipped them on us again. Drew Brees, retirement card. Jerry Rice, it's kind of cool looking. Jonathan Taylor, TJ Watt, Ezekiel Elliott, and Lamar Jackson. Now that was kind of, that was kind of weird. I mean, unless I missed something and I'll have to go back through and look at them again. But we basically, I mean, we got a couple of rookies, but we basically didn't get anything else in this pack except for that Spellbound. No other inserts, no numbered. I mean, we got a rookie there. Was that the only rookie we got? Kind of, I know I kind of went through it kind of quick. That was kind of, I don't know. That was kind of lackluster to get that much base. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that one yet. Let's set those over here. Let's get into the <laughs> box. But I mean, for $17, I believe it is, or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Or is it $14? I could be wrong on that price. I should have pulled it up beforehand, but, um... I know it's up there. It's not like the typical, like, $11.95 or... $9.95 or something that you would normally pay for a value pack. So I know some people have strong opinion. I mean, I don't know. It's, you know, I, I kind of go with the argument of that I've seen some people say is that I guess, you know, these cards have kind of been the same price for a long time. The hobby boxes have gone up in price, but like value packs and stuff haven't. So I don't know. But let's see how we do on these packs. Maybe we do a little bit better on the uh, the blaster here. Ooh, we got something fancy right there. Oh, I think we're supposed to get a. We can get we get one aspiration shimmer or status explosion per box. It looks like we got it right here in the first pack. So let's take a look. Uh, Joe Namath, David Montgomery, and we got Nico Collins uh, for the Texans. And then, I mean, ooh, and then right behind it. See, look, this is already better than the value pack because I just saw what was behind this card. Um, but, okay, Nico Collins, I mean, not, you know, there's other rookies I would have picked ahead of that, but that is a cool-looking card. That is a cool-looking card. Um, I'll put that right here for a minute. And then right behind that, we got... A Montana, the green, I guess this other one, the, the Mahomes one was the red or the pink or whatever you want to call it. But we got the Joe Montana A. So we got another Spellbound right there. So that the first pack of this was almost already better than that entire value pack, which is kind of disconcerting, I think. Let's hurry up, though. We only got a couple packs here. Kind of just want to go ahead and get through these because I don't want to drag the video out too much longer because I know I did a little bit of talking in the beginning. But let's take a look here. We, what else we got? Keenan Allen. Kyler Murray. Nice one. Um, DeAndre Hopkins. I guess this was the uh, Arizona pack. And then we got a full throttle and a DJ Moore. But we got Full Throttle, Nicole Hardman for Kansas City. 
So that's kind of a, a neat card. Let's go ahead and put a quick sleeve on that one. Those are kind of cool. All right. Two more. I'll get these done. But I mean, hey, yeah, this, I mean, the box isn't too bad. I mean, again, you're not getting a lot of cards and the price is a bit of a premium. But I mean, they are nice cards. I love the design on them. They're all shiny. Randy Moss, Ryan Tannehill, Trevon Morig for a rookie, which actually that's a nice looking rookie. And oh my goodness, we got a third. And there's Josh Jacobs. We got a third Spellbound. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so we got... We got a third Spellbound in the one blaster. That's not too shabby, I guess. All right, let's see what we get with the last one here. DeAndre Swift, didn't we already get him a minute ago? Jimmy Garoppolo. Daniel Jones. Oh, and that is a nice hit to get. Marky Brown, that is a nice hit to get right there. We got a star status, Patty Mahomes. So we didn't get any, I don't think we got any numbered or anything, but that is actually a very nice looking card. Really cool looking. So, I mean, yeah, not too bad. I mean, you can kind of see what we got here. I mean, we got the three spell bounds. We got the Nico Collins on the, uh, I guess that's the status explosion is what that card is called. And then the Patrick Mahomes star status. And then a whole bunch of base and a couple of rookies and a full throttle. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about this set. I mean, I don't know how I feel about these. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. I like them. They're cool looking cards. I just don't know if the value is fully there on these. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, it's it's a little expensive for what it is. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, I mean, getting the, the three Spellbounds, that was pretty dang cool. And, uh, you know, this one didn't hurt either. So, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me in the Tavern. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time in the Tavern.